Hello, Calvary. My name is Robert. Uh, welcome to your word for the day today. You know, over the next few weeks, we're going to be looking at some of our measures of what a growing walk with Jesus looks like. We define these as a church and want to help communicate to you, hey, this is what could be uh, in your spiritual walk. And this week, we're specifically looking at the measure of loving. And the tagline for that is, how am I treating others with kindness and respect? We want to encourage you to think about this from multiple different perspectives of how you and I interact with people. Yesterday, Pastor Joe talked about this from the perspective of loving your, your actual neighbors, the people who live across the street from you or next to you. And today I want to encourage you to think about this as it relates to your driving. See, by my own admission, I am not a patient driver. I like being efficient when I drive, which is really just a nice way of saying I like to go fast. Uh, I don't like getting stuck behind people who are driving under the speed limit or take a long time to turn or pull in or pull out. And when I'm on road trips, I love to see if I can race my GPS, which means I, I look at the, the ETA it gives me when I leave and see if I can beat that by the time I get to my destination. Maybe you connect with this as well. Maybe you're an impatient driver. If so, a temptation is to allow our desires to turn into impatience and sinful anger toward the drivers around us. If I'm not cautious, my own desires to get where I need to go escalate to the point of me thinking I'm more important than everyone else on the road and everyone else should yield to me and get out of my way. And yet as we drive down the road, we're surrounded by people who have their own needs, their own stresses, their own deadlines and priorities and destinations. So the question is, do we care enough about them and their needs to show them kindness and respect and to love our fellow drivers? See, I think of Philippians chapter two when I discuss this, verses three and four says this. It says, do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility count others more significant than yourself. Let each of you look not only to his own interests, but also to the interests of others. So let me challenge you to seek to find ways to show love to the other drivers on the road today, this week, and moving forward from this point forward. Consider the life of Jesus when you're behind the wheel. A person who loved with selfless humility, who put our needs ahead of his own, and, and, and seek to follow that example when you're behind the wheel. So today, I hope that you not only think about your own interests and destinations and timeline when you're on the road, but that you would show love to people around you by considering their interests and destinations as well. I hope that you have a great and patient day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.